Hello again, people. This is Fox Knocked, and welcome to more video game stuff, which has random hands in it for some reason. Anyway, so uh, in the last video, like I told you, I was going to start doing some um, buying games by mail thing, or buying game stuff by mail. I don't know what to call it. BGBM, if you, if, if you will, or BVGBM, however you want to state those letters. But anyway... This is stuff I got off of eBay um, in auctions that were pretty. I think I actually I don't know what are in these because I ordered like four things, so these could be. Uh, I think I know what this one is. I'm not really sure what this one is though. But anyway, let's open the big box of stuff and just have a good time. Knives, they're sharp and also cut. I believe this is a Sega lot, but I could be. No, yeah, I was right. Sega lot, sweet. All right. So this is a lot of Sega games I bought uh, at an auction. It's a lot of them. And they, he said that they were in working condition, so if there's nothing else in here. Let me see what this is. Yeah, it's just paperwork and all of that boring stuff. This incorporates paperwork. All right, so we got our big wrap of Sega. I like the way he wrapped it, too. I actually put it pretty safe, he got a like, bubble. Uh, air stuff and more rubber bands actually need rubber bands I didn't know this came with it I didn't really look at the lot because the lot was like pretty cheap I think it was like 15, 16, 17 like something for all these games which is pretty good uh, considering there's a lot of good games not many sports I don't think there's one sports game here so let's go through it uh, so yeah let's go through the lot we have Clay Fighter one of the better one of the funniest kind of uh, uh, fighting games Clay Fighter there's one for the N64 the sports something here we see it's $4.95. I did not pay that. I there's prices on all of these. Um, actually, I can show you what I paid. Hold on, just so you don't think. Oh, fuck. okay, $18.50. Not bad. Let me just make sure I'm not giving away information here. Just gonna show you this. $18.50. See, $18.50. So we have Clay Fighter. Awesome game. We have Triple Score, which has a Three games. Okay, there's a sports game in here. We have ha uh, Super Hang On, Columns, and World Championship Soccer. That's fun. Five dollars for a sports game, essentially. Hmm. I am gonna clean all these contacts because they don't they don't look too bad, but they still look like they need to be cleaned. Here we have Desert Demolition, Road Runner, uh, starring Road Runner and Wile E. Coyote. Nice little game. Originally cost five bucks. We have Cyborg Justice. Never heard of this game. Pretty excited to play this. I like weird games I've never heard of. We got Vector Man. I have heard of this game. This is one of the popular uh, games on the Sega. Uh, very fun game. I played it before. Those contacts actually look pretty good. Sonic 2. I already have this one in box, so this will probably go on my for trades bag when I go to flea markets. Tiny Toons Acme All Stars by Konami. Same people who make Yu Gi Oh! Gotta take all these stickers off. They don't look, they are too hard to take off, so that'd be good. Mortal Kombat 2. I have Mortal Kombat 1 on Sega, so this is pretty cool. Uh, Sega is the one where you can get blood on the Mortal Kombat games. Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits. Never played this. Um, saw some videos. It has. Oh my god, what does it have? And I saw them too. It has Joust and it has like some other games. They don't say on the on the cartridge, but yeah. Multi-cart, always fun. And Abrams Battle Tank. Never, I don't know what the hell this game is, but I, I like the Genesis games with, like, the just straight-up photos of stuff on it. Uh, this is 1990, 1989 Electronic Arts, 1991 Sega of America. Abrams Battle Tank. So, yes, that was a Sega lot, 18 bucks. Not bad. All right, now we have this thing. I believe this is a PC controller. For Super Nintendo emulation. Yep, it is. The, oh, it's open. Fucking hell. The Super Nintendo Super Controller with USB. Uh, the Hydra one. Compatible with Super Nintendo. It is? Does it have like an adapter? Enough controllers. Alright, so yeah. I have like a cheap... I just wanted one because uh, I want to play some uh, emulators. And uh, Earthbound is really expensive. So I really... So I can just get the controller. I want to play with the controller. Essentially. So yeah, let's see what we got here. No, it doesn't. I don't know how it's compatible with Super Nintendo. It doesn't have a adapter anymore. It's just a straight up USB. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, feels all right. Start button. I think I might uncase it and kind of spray it and just like kind of spray this a little darker gray, just so it looks more, more uh, 
true to the actual Super Nintendo, the shoulder buttons are a little bigger than normal, which don't feel too bad, but whatever. I just needed a really cheap uh, USB controller to play some uh, emulators. So that is it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, other video game video. Uh, again, if you enjoy these, let me know. I'll keep doing more of them. If not, I'll keep doing more of them. Bye now!